you have anything to say, Chris? I never have anything to say. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to <laughs> Uncharted 3, the Chris Miller collection. My favorite part is it's like seven seconds of you just punching, and I'm just like, is he going to say anything? I'm leaving that all in. Fuck it. That might be my, my favorite intro, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. My favorite intro of all time has to be, uh, does the carpet match the drapes, though? I already knew that. Yeah. I say this. We may have one that goes up with, like, a Ryan episode that goes up before now, but up until the, this recording moment. Hello, elephant. But hey, everybody. Welcome back to Uncharted 3, the Chris Miller collection. I'm Kyle Snow. That's Chris Miller. And now we're doing Uncharted things. I also really enjoyed the intro we did where when one man... Yeah, that part was good. Well, how did the rest of that go again? I saw it more recently, but I can't remember how it went. I've watched a lot it was of this. Like, it was like, uh... When one man must kill everyone he faces. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then you jumped off the cliff and they just like, it played with it. I found it. Where? I remember there. that. The figurehead from Drake's ship. Yeah. I think I, I saw that yesterday. That was part of the uh, part of the slog of episodes I edited. I did 17 episodes of this, plus three other... I did literally 20 episodes in a day. Well, like one night and one afternoon, but in like a 12 Good thing day. I now have an Elgato. Yeah, thank God for that. That wouldn't have helped us in this case, though. Um, no. We're not... Like, we didn't need all those episodes. I just needed the recording space. But, yeah. Chris, uh, yeah, we Very can talk about that a little bit. Confused. Chris has a capture card now, so Chris is actually going to be able to record shit. You guys are actually, you'll probably know this long before this goes up, but like, we'll have like Chris and Ryan series is up. It's going to be amazing. I mean, nothing sounds more boring. Than Chris and Ryan, yeah. Really, the only reason this channel survives is because of me. Yeah, right. Sure, Kyle. Ooh. I mean... What's the, that's the only thing that's missing from a you and Ryan episode. Ryan and I have done episodes. They're just podcasts. <laughs> Wait, wasn't I on all, pretty much all those? Uh, except for, I guess, a couple of the three no. ones. The hockey ones. Uh, you weren't on all the hockey ones. No, that's true. I would say it's fair to say I've been on like 97% of the content on our web on our uh, channel so far, though. Yeah. 97 well, yeah. or more. Of course, you're the only one with the uh, the ability to uh, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, was. <laughs> I still am the only one with the skill set because I haven't taught you how to do anything yet because you've literally bought that thing. And then I was like, cool, let's record. Yeah, so that should be good. Oh shit, it's a trap. They're here, take cover. <laughs> You are super getting shot at right now. Oh my god. I was right. We went to Arabia. <laughs> yeah! Mate, we could use a little help here. Come on, Nate, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Oh, Nathan. The the There's a gun. Got it. There's a gunfight happening. Chris is like hard my ass. Chris, can we, uh. Nope. I, I think you gotta go with more two guaranteed kills. <laughs> it's not guaranteed either. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> to be fair, not those other two shots. When you whiff everything. Oh, that's a. Uh... I thought you were just gonna keep going. Nice. No, I'm an expert hand to hand. I think we use a lot of hand to hand in this game. That is true. Shit, they're everywhere. Damn ambush. Cover me. You got ambush. Laser targeting, motherfucker. There you go. Nice. Just keep moving forward. We'll find a way out. 
But also don't forget to keep murdering fools. Uppercuts. All that good stuff. Damn it. Oh, oh, he is not gonna be in rush hour. He's not gonna be an uncharted four. You know what? I think I need to watch those rush hour movies again and see if they actually hold up. I remember I saw three in theaters. And you, did you just get an achievement, Chris? I Trophy. sure did. Was it for Pure and Uncle Brawler. Oh god. Oh. That's why I punch people. Yeah. Oh, we get to go back to you hanging from shit, trying to trying to shoot people. Can you hang from this thing? Oh. Oh, oh that's a gun. That's a useful gun. My boy Cal. This place is not. This place is so sketchy. I don't like this at all. Shit, right oh, that's a few guys. Someone on your left. Well, your first death but bullets. It's true. The rest of them have been either getting caught by guards or jumping off of shit. Here we go. Could really use grenades right about now, couldn't you? Nope. Not feeling it. Oh, you're not in a good spot right now. That guy. Yeah. Maybe get into cover, Chris, if I can make a small suggestion. Sully's got it. Sully's good. Sully's... Is he dead over there? Or is that Sully? Okay, that was just another guy next to you. I thought that guy was Sully for a second. Not gonna lie, mistakes were made. Also, bullet holes were made with bullets on that guy's chest. Chris, you've given up the high ground. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Amateur hour over here. And my shooting percentage. Whew. That's going way down. That whole smoke situation seems like it's making things a little bit more difficult. A little bit. I like you just took his ammo from him, like... Cause I'm pretty sure you got extra ammo there, like, during the fight, where it's like, you, you have his gun now, just, you're good. If I actually programmed that in like that, that'd be cool. Oh, propane! Hey, Chris, what a wasted opportunity that was. <gasps> well, okay, you can do it again next time. I'm actually glad that you died there. Probably just like step out a little bit. Bye. All right, Chris. Only 125 more guys. To... You know what? Apparently, I made better use of explosives in this game than I did in the first one. Hey, there's a ladder. Come on, hurry up. Oh, you, you didn't do the move. I think you I hit it too though. Long. Well, you also can just hit that. Could help. Uh. Yeah. 
I think it popped too. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. Apparently, I made better use of explosions in this game. I learned my lesson. I did pretty good the first one or the second one. Well, you kill you blow up more explosive canisters, but yeah, I probably count grenades and those things. And I do make pretty good use of my grenades. Going for a much higher shooting percentage in this game. <laughs> this isn't fair because I was setting them like as on a playthrough, not fighting against somebody. I was just like, okay, I can do this. In general, accuracy has always been one of my strong suits in games. That's why I'm so good at League, Chris. <laughs> Just getting the fucking mongoloid hands when it comes to that Cutter, game. where the hell are we? The North Atwood Station, come on! Yeah, we're in Cutter World. <sighs> or some shit. Jolly old England. Oh, <laughs> they all popped out at like once. Okay. Oh, that that guy's. That was like the most pathetic death I've ever seen in my life. He just like bent over and took it. Chris, maybe not a fight, fist fight time. I don't really have a choice, do I? Could, I mean, you could a gun wouldn't fire. really do any better. I think you're good, buddy. Couldn't tell if I killed two or not. I don't think you did, but I think the other one got shot by your friends. Because he sort of disappeared. <laughs> Captain Sudi. I feel like I'm hitting him. I don't understand. Oh, fuck this. We're gonna have a way better shooting percentage this time. I like you punch him once and he's just dead after he dodges like 7,000 bullets. And like this guy, that's it? That's all it takes to put you down? Alright. Oh. Oh, he's got a shotgun. That one worked. That was cool as shit. Chris, <laughs> you got your moves back. I feel like I'm doing okay. You are doing okay. I think you have to go through the train. Uh, or you have to turn right. It's probably turn right. Probably, yeah. Yeah. If you want to do things the easy way. That was a pretty good shot, though. Oh, did you seem Very to much instinctual. Using... You just seem to have a, a bit of an aversion to using your SMG. It's okay. I just um, I like pistols. You know what? You do like pistols. Pistols are a little more classy. James Bond uses pistols when he can. I'm much more of an assault rifle kind of guy. SMG if that's not available though, for sure. But yeah, some pistol kit. Did he live? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Chris? I'm so confused what just happened. <laughs> he didn't register that he was dead right away. He's just like, I think I'm okay. Oh no, I have six holes in my bullet, in my torso, and one in my dick. I, th I don't think you're supposed to shoot that. I think you're just supposed to run up the stairs. Up here, hurry! I was reading that first. I thought it said up here, honey, and I was like, "Geez, I know you can tell that you're close, but like, how close are you?" Maybe. Or 
Chris. It's something to pick up, but it won't let me pick it up. No, it's a gun. No. Oh. I thought it was a treasure. I know. Back up, back up! You guys could have just shot that. Come on! Chloe's got pretty good aim. Making our way downtown, driving fast. So then the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I can't questions? help but notice. Hmm? Is somebody yeah. missing? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about her, too. Drake didn't yeah. screw around in the East Indies. Where the hell he sailed straight through and is Tenzin? Right. Here's where it gets interesting. Always he appears at some point. This is John D. Hey, it's 007. Who the hell's yeah. John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Hey, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Oh. Really that <laughs> So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth and Walsingham. Great, but what for? I like how these guys are like in like a history dick measuring contest. And this is where Tina <clears throat> Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, great film. He was an archaeologist. <laughs> is it a good movie? Even I haven't when seen he was it. just a kid. Yeah, it's fantastic. Everything to do with it's older and it's yeah, long. Yeah, yeah, I knew it's all over, But it's amazing. It, it's all in here. Lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, you're Lawrence asking someone about who plays in what? 1962. Now the legend crops up over and over. But it's really good. Peter O'Toole, the yeah. city of brass. Alec Guinness. Story. Isn't Alec Guinness like old Ben? Oh, Alec Guinness is old Ben Kenobi. Know. Destroyed by God for I believe uh, Omar Sharif sent. Right? I don't oh, remember really dead. anyone else. <laughs> I like the Omar Sharif is in it. Anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Yeah, it was 62. Like, my dad was two. My mom was not born yet. It's also still well worth watching. Yeah, uh, probably. It's just very long. It's like, a look like it's really, really long. I'll look up the runtime. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What was that? No, hang on a second. Because if you recall the last time we went halfway around... I'll tell you right now, it's it's big like four hours. More than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We... Three hours, 48 minutes. And Marlo has nothing. Small problem. The Ruble Kali Desert. 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. script. Right. <laughs> Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find the <laughs> lost city. I'm sure of it. Oh, no, no. How about 600 miles of impossible waste? No, fuck you, Chloe. I'm going to France. It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you is, that, is that the saying? Okay. Uh... It's usually cross that bridge, but yeah, sure. I know. That's I was. I know. All right, Chris. This fucking thinks we're going to the desert. We're going to France, dude. I mean, Cutter I already know it's gonna be desert. The no, there's no desert. Cutter and Chloe are in the desert. Don't. The rest of the game takes place in France. Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. 
Well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should That's be this true. way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far. With you, I never know if that. Ooh. Are we really doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Art gallery, sweet. That means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you know, I'm not still holding that over me. I was fifteen, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. Aww. Best friends, Drake and Sully. Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Yeah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Just, must have just put that in. Is that a pamphlet? Yeah. Pan flute solo. Inca people looking for a place to go. You know that bit, right? Nope. Oh, it's a good bit. Okay, so uh, giant bomb, obviously. Uh, they bring up like this like old like FMV this game way. or something, or like laser disc game or something. But there's a song where it's like you are like El Dorado, and Jeff's all like you know you are. El Dorado! <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a classic Lawrence moment, but, and, you know, Dan butchers a French name. He's like, oh, Jesus the tree. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. And then there's, like, this singing part where it's like, we are the Incas, kings and knights. We're lost. Where we go, we don't know. We keep on flying into the night. Inca people. Looking for a place to go, and like the whole time Jeff's just got his head going like crazy, and Brad's like pan, and then a pan flute starts up, and Brad's like pan flute solo. Yeah. This, Mr. Wizard. And we're like, I almost clicked away. Pretty tacky. They didn't. It was like a pretty good moment. And Jeff's like, yeah, it's a good fucking jam. The night who owned this castle, Lord God, was a pretty good, pretty good giant bomb moment. Century. According to Laura, I think Drew was still there for that too. The original castle is the square keep in the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia. That's where we're gonna find him. Oh, good. Oh, fuck, I remember this part. <laughs> Alright, Chris. Are you fucking <laughs> ready <laughs> for some shenanigans? Sure. Alright. You're gonna be getting up to some shenanigans. That's all I'm gonna say. On the bright side, though, it looks like you're the first ones here. You think you can make that jump? Almost. <coughs> what about that window above? I don't want to cut myself. No, no. Right, nice going, kid. Be right back. All right. All right, Chris. How you feeling about France so far? Meh. I like France. Not a fan. I actually hate that country. So. Really? Yeah. You ever been? No. No. Just have no interest. Okay. I was in Paris. That place is pretty cool. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. <sighs> that was a dick joke. Uh, which store is he? You have no idea. Literally have no idea. You be there? Nope. I don't feel like that's a lock issue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
are you supposed to go? Yeah. Oh. Over there, I think. Whoa. Like through there. Is that it? No. No. I'm very confused. Oh. Oh, okay. We were never going to find it looking on the ground, so that's probably for the best. We have to find a way up. We just, did you just moonwalk there for a second? <laughs> did you see that? I am playing. I mean, that doesn't mean anything, Chris. Okay. Force this out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drake's all like, he's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Where the fuck do I go? And he's dancing like he's never danced before. Drake's a maniac, maniac on the floor. I have no idea. Oh, up there. Use that thing to get up, maybe? Like that hanging bit? Like, can you, yeah, can you get, can you make it to that, or no? Nope, you can't, okay. That was my brilliant strategy. <sighs> I'm very impressed by this game so far. No? This is worse <laughs> than the boss fight of Uncharted 2. <laughs> well, I just, like, it doesn't need to be this hard to find something. Like, I, I get it, the, but, like, I Maybe guess up here, head. probably. Yeah. No, I'm with you though. Like, uh, like how? Like it's this, not... this is not a fun challenge. Yeah. It just it's becomes just... frustrating. Like it's not fun at all. And like it's not. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Oh, you just shoot the lock. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Well, then why did? It... Okay, but first of all, it told me to go up there. Yeah, that was weird. Stupid. I thought that was Shouldn't. just like a hanging. Good. It told me to literally go up there to let him in. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh man, look at this place. Yeah, I've been in here for an hour, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> You're already like, fuck this game. No, can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up oh. there? Try. Oh, great. Great, we haven't figured out a way to get up there yet. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, things will be so much easier to get up, probably. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure they will be. Go to Sully. Hey, help me lift this up. <sighs> well, that would explain why we couldn't get our way up there. Oh, damn things rot. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I'm gonna save you some time. Sully's supposed <gasps> to lift the other one. Oh, good, because you can't just grab onto the edge, Rick. <sighs> <laughs> Some salt. Can you run like a normal human being and not like a zombie? Come on. <laughs> he does look a little bit like a zombie. <clears throat> well, everyone, that is Uncharted 3, the playthrough. Um... <laughs> This is actually a good place to call the episode, <laughs> all jokes aside.
Well, don't worry, I'm gonna keep climbing. I probably won't make any progress. Yeah. While well, you're doing that, take a second. Thank, thank, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Next time, maybe Chris uh, manages to make this jump. He does. And next time, maybe we'll figure out where we're supposed to go. See you guys next time.